In this video we're going to look at two strokes that can be used in the bow of a boat or indeed to be used solo. And their, their uses are many and varied. So here Maya's doing a draw stroke to correct the travel of the boat. And Lena now solo is using the draw to go sideways. So straight away we have a whole variety of uses for this one stroke. And here in this little exercise Maya is using a cross bow draw or cross draw again to straighten the boat up whereas I'm actually using pretty well the same stroke combined with a sweep to actually get a tight turn. We're going to have a look at uh, two strokes that can be used in a variety of ways but they are essential strokes for the bag paddler in a tandem crew. We're going to look at First of all, the draw stroke, we can use it solo to go sideways, we can use it in combination, but we can use it to turn the front of a boat or to stop the front turning. And it's quite a straightforward stroke. What I'm first going to have to do is turn my chest, maybe even my knee, so it's facing the direction I'm going to pull, and then. So what I'm doing is reaching out to the side, pulling through the water with the bottom hand, but at the same time I'm pushing with the top hand. And the real key component here, I have to release my fingers, otherwise it stops me getting a really good push. There, and then to get it out of the water before it hits the boat, I can slash it to the back. Put it to and slash it out to the back. Now there are lots of variations on this stroke. I can actually turn and slice the boat, the paddle back through the water, but that won't work in every situation, and certainly when the boat's moving, and this is a useful stroke when we're moving. The variation would be but that only works in a specific situation. The basic draw stroke works in all situations and we can look at the variations in a future video. A good steady pull onto the, the blade to keep it engaged with the water but a quick slash out so you don't trip over the blade as the, as the boat catches it up. Here Maya is using the, the same stroke to turn and if we want a more efficient turn on flat water then Lena is actually using a stern sweep to help Maya in the turn. We can put both blades on the same side of the boat but this wouldn't be usual to have them in these hands but it's good practice and they're practicing going sideways. Maya could have a slightly bigger push but so what. So the opposite of that, um, at the bow of a boat, and we can use it solo to turn the boat, is to come cross deck. Now this is really quite important and I'm going to show it in stages because this way you're more likely to get it right. So come up to the halfway point, this thumb is on the top, now keep that thumb up here on the top and swing the whole thing around. Now if you notice most of the swing is coming out of my chest. Paddle in the water, pull and out. Paddle in the water, the pull and out. Doing this solo makes for a really powerful turn and I've coupled it with a sweep stroke on my onside but I've moved my knees across to face the offside to make it more powerful. Very often this is called the outside pivot turn. This cross deck draw or cross deck bow draw makes for a very very powerful turn. Or if it's necessary, as a correction stroke. 360, perfect. Here combined with a reverse sweep at the stern, it makes for a tight turn on the spot. Note that the actual stroke at the back stops at the 90 degree mark. The classic mistake with this is as you come across, instead of keeping this thumb on top, which gives you a really powerful position, because if you notice, I'm not actually pulling with my arms, I'm pulling with my body. 
but the mistake that a lot of people make is as they come across they twist the paddle over so this thumb ends up down this is extremely weak you're not really effective with the body this arm is in extremely weak position so the telltale is this thumb is still on the top and I go back to to get it right come up to that position thumbs on the top and now instead of doing any twisting or arm movement twist with the body drop it in and pull in these next exercises we're simulating the, the canoe going off course and that could re that normally happens actually in a strong headwind and the stern paddler does require assistance and there you go Maya's just drawing it back onto line and then they can power up again and again deliberately turned off course so Maya gets to practice bringing it back online. There is an issue with this though and here again is another good little correction but when bow paddlers first learn to do this they tend then to get over enamoured of it and overdo it forgetting particularly going into a headwind that you actually need to provide power as well so this correction must be quick and allow the stern paddler to do the majority of the work. On my water, a good bow paddler really comes into their own. And here it is, Maya using the self same stroke, cross bow draw, to actually line me up in the little eddy. And here, pulling the nose around, using the water flow as well, but very actively pulling that bow around. Good bow paddlers are really great. And a final little one. And it begins to morph to a cross by rubber. But Maya had to have a reward. You can't spend all that time doing strokes for film for dad. You've got to have your chance to jump in and enjoy yourself. Okay, it wasn't that cool. If you've enjoyed this video, please click on the like button. If you'd like to subscribe, please click on the icon in the bottom right corner.